I went when I was a kid to Disney World. I, I've talked about this at nauseum. I've bits about it on stage. I'm not going to go into it. My parents went to kind of like save their marriage. It was a fucking disaster. I went back when I was in the. I was a tap dancer in a in a dance troupe. I did the boogie woogie bugle boy. This is when I was yeah. an actor. From six to twelve, I was a fucking actor. You've nobody's done anything in this audience. Six to twelve, I was an actor. I was in a, nothing really, not a lot. I was in some th- community theater. I was in some fucking uh, NYU like student film. Like, listen, you know, I, I tried. I got to like second call back, third call back for Grace Under Fire, and then Brett Butler, that drunk, didn't choose me. She chose the Sweet Life Cody, one of them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dylan or Cody? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see their name. Yeah, well, whatever. That was probably a better investment long term. Oh, Sprouse, Cole, Cole Sprouse. Yeah, isn't yeah. that, isn't that, yeah, aren't they the, isn't that the Zach and the two fucking twinks on a boat or something? Uh, yeah, the sweet life of Zach and Cody. Yeah. Uh, What's, yeah, the sweet life of Zach and Cody. Yeah, Cole Sprouse and Dylan Sprouse. Yeah, right. the Sprouses. They were on the Dan Schneider cruise and they chose those fucks, whatever. You know, bygones. And, I was a tap dancer before cool black guys took it over. Like Savion Glover, who's a genius. And then everybody wanted to go see Stomp. But before that, fat white men used to dance in this country. Like Jackie Gleason. This is why Trump got elected. Fat white men who were light on their feet used to dance. And people would love it. And the cool black guys started dancing. And then what are the white people going to do? They vote for Donald J. Trump. What happened was when I went to the D- Disney World, uh, I thought we'd be in like a theater or something, you know. And in the dance, in the dance classes, there was me and there was one other fat kid. There was another guy and he was just a fat guy. I don't even know if he was gay or not. I think he was, it was sad or if he wasn't gay. But his name was George. And my dad had nothing to be comp- like masculine or competitive about with me. He was never like, oh, we weren't in sports, so he couldn't be like, we're going to kill the Tigers today or whatever fucking Little League team. So he's like, you're better than f- that fat George guy. He's like, you're a better dancer than George. I'm like, I know I am. He's like, you're going to fucking, I'm sure they'll give you the bugle boy. You know, so that's all he could be competitive about with me, you know? Poor guy. But, you know, have more kids, you selfish boomer. I'm sure that if someone else would have came out that would have been better. Point is, Fat George didn't get it. I got it. I was a bugle boy, so I get to go down to Florida, you know, with all these, you know, like truly talentless, predominantly Jewish women. A lot of Danas, a lot of Rebecca's, and just, you know, like not not good. So we go down to Florida. You have go play that play the song for Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. I want people to hear what it sounds like. The boogie 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 boogie. It's an annoying 1920s like fucking like. A boogie 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 boogie. Let me make sure it's not copyrighted. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's copyrighted. All right, but it's like the boogie 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 to me. The Tuskegee Airmen are fine or whatever. I don't know. But what it was. So then they fucking. We, 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 we perform on this stage outside in Disney World that's by the bathrooms. So all these fat tourists are trying to go. They're on a bathroom. We're performing for the bathroom line, literally. And it smells like shit because the shit is wafting out from the bathroom. It's 120 degrees. And we're just flailing around on this stage in the heat. This is what show business really is. That's where all these people get into comedy. They're like, it's not fear. It's like, a, it's not supposed to be. It, it's watching your life get ground up mm-hmm. like meat, you idiot. So I came from this shit. So I knew how fucking, so we're like flailing our arms around and dancing. And it's the, the number plays over and over again, right? So there's no new number. There's no new dance. Like, it's just, you saw the one dance and then, and then it's like, Boom, and then it goes, it starts again, it goes, the boogie boogie boom. So these fat tourists on the line are like, so then they start to turn their back to us because they've had enough, I mean, they've seen enough. 
So literally, I'm watching fat tourists on a bathroom line mm. just turn their back to you in the middle of like. <laughs> That to me is is Disney World. Like that that was the and then at the end of the trip we went on Splash Mountain, right? And that was fun. So that's Disney World. And that's life for most people. Hell, heat, the smell of shit, and then one moment of weightlessness. And then here's a picture that they'll sell you. That's what it is. You waft through the smell of other people's shit. You're just sweating. You don't know where you're going. You don't know why you're there. You're embarrassed. You're afraid. And then at the end, you get to go down the log flume. You have one moment of weightlessness. That's all life is. You get a photo, you know? So Disney World never did it for me. But then my dad, my dad actually, to his credit, took me to a fucking cool place called the Blantyre, which was a fucking castle in Massachusetts. I've talked about this on the show before. That I was into because we saw people that were working class get abused. And that made me and my dad happy because we poor people love seeing other poor people get abused. And when the woman, the old woman was there, she's like, where's Maurice? I've done everything and all my planning has been with Maurice. I don't know who you are. Go and find him. Go and find When you see an old woman with a chunky jewel necklace throw her hand in someone's face and go, go, go from me now. Be gone. It's great. Okay, see, I haven't gone full Bernie, bro. <laughs> and and the Blantyre was cool. We went a few other places. We went to this place to Chatham Sheep Herd and Company. It doesn't exist anymore. That was cool. I, you know, everybody goes on these all-inclusive, and I get it because they're regular people, and there's nothing wrong with being a regular person. It's never really interested me, but many of you seem to be having a, a, a fine time doing it. But the all-inclusive thing or the cruise thing or the... I just, I, I, it's, it's kind of gross to me. I think going out in nature is cool. Going to a different city is cool. Learning things on your own. Letting things happen organically. But the idea that like when you're treated like cattle, mm -hmm. which is how a lot of people go on vacations, they're treated like cattle and they're basically, they're, they go, these people can't make any decisions for themselves. And they're right. They're right. And they can't. They're right. Yeah. Here's how much these people can't make this. Yeah. Endorsements still mad. That shocked me. In the presidential race, like, endorsements matter. Like, Jim Clyburn in South Carolina endorsing Biden matters. It's like, guys, you know who these people are. They've been on your TV. You've seen them. You know what they're about. And you still need somebody to go, no, you click that lever. <laughs> you vote for this person. These are grown adults. These are grown adults who need another person to go, I think you should vote for this person. Okay. I mean, so that's my problem with a lot of these vacations is you just don't, you're not allowed, you know, it's, it's all, you're, you're corralled into a group and you're like, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. And I'm sure a lot of them are fun. Listen, I work a lot. I don't go out of time. I travel a lot for work. Um, I understand that there's a, but to me, it's like, it's more fun. I think it's a much better story. To go to a place with your fiance and you go on a vacation and that and then she gets kidnapped mm -hmm. and you have to save her. And of course you don't save her, that's Hollywood shit. She gets killed. <laughs> but then you come back from that trip and you're a different person. <laughs> you understand things that you didn't understand previously. You know? You're able to kind of process the world in a different way. Uh, to me, I think that's a better. Now, I don't know. I could be wrong. <clears throat> Maybe I am, but you know. But that, that's my whole thing with uh, with where we're uh, where we're headed. You know, if you if you need, go get a potato and put a Marlboro Light in its mouth and watch that, and then press play on your phone.